Welcome back guys. So today I'm going to be doing a bit of a speed build on the uh, Hailstorm V2 and uh, as you can see it's um, another uh, revamp so I'm just going to be focusing on power storage for this one. Lots and lots of power storage. Uh, we're going for uh, the high billions so uh, once I get done I will continue. I'm going to cake this in a my hybrid uh, brute force recharge reactor so just literally gonna surround the tanks with recharge blocks and I'll get right back to you once I got a number bottom of my ship if you want to jump in your core and then we'll just dip there Wow so this is going really well um, I had to actually sort of start again so yeah but you'll have to go close so that you don't uh, yeah, currently okay. sitting at 25 billion power storage and 9 million energy per second recharge. Got to put the shields yeah, in now. In and then dock. Okay, so now we've got the uh, power systems in place. We can go ahead and start hauling this baby up. Basically, going to be doing the standard whale tail, which is uh, sort of which I had on the original hailstorm. Obviously, it was about four times shorter than this but uh, as you can see I'm just running around gonna have the same or similar style engine probably won't have as much detail as the last one uh, but like I say uh, it's coming along quite nicely I've still yet to complete this build and I do want to put some cactus in between the fins there on the top at the back I wanted to have that exposed green from the uh, from the tanks which is pretty sweet other than that, I'd say this was a really fun build. Like I say, um, still experimenting with the staging of big panels to get that kind of blocky look. Um, I did want to keep that look in the tail. Uh, I think I'm going to be using a little bit of water behind the canopy because I really liked how that looked on the MTX, which is going to be, uh, I think you may have already seen. Of course, this video is going out late, <clears throat> mainly because of an audio problem. But um, like I say, there's going to be quite a few of these lost episodes coming out just to make sure we haven't missed anything. Obviously, we've got the new build coming soon. Uh, this is going to be one of the stronger opponents that you will challenge in the Proving Grounds PvP testing. Obviously, you can bring your ship along and challenge the triggers. If you can get through all of my minions, then you can fight the Hailstorm. And uh, I would have guessed that a few pilots will make it this far and take the Hailstorm on and win. So, but like I say, um, it's been really fun bringing this back. If the weapons update comes, I'll be doing a V3, but V2 is it for this patch, this point one build. And uh, like I say, I've had a lot of fun making it. I am considering customizing the exterior further, but uh, we'll have to see about that. So moving swiftly through this, I've got to put my trademark ice crystal stripe down the middle. And uh, once that's done, we're pretty much good to go. So trying out a few little bits of detailing here to try and stage from the tail to the side. I think that's worked pretty good. But you can tell me in the description, what do you think of the V2? Um, it's currently sitting at 3.4 million DPS, I think. Which is, which is adequate. But, uh, like I say, this beastie takes an hour to recharge. And, uh, but it, the upside of the 10 million is it can still recharge and move, you know, even if it's got no power. So that's an upshot of having stupendous amounts of energy. Like I say, just uh, finishing off this. Putting a few more of these hull plates down. So we're going for, I think, uh, too thick at this point. Maybe three. Two or three. Looks like two. Oh no, it says five. <laughs> so yeah, okay, five thick. Because <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. And yeah, so... Um, 
just coming up on the end of the video really so from this point on I'm just going to invite you all to look forward to the uh, proving grounds please do come along and uh, bring your ships for the challenge I will be interested to see if anybody can take this thing down one and one uh, and looking forward to the new patch which should be coming any day now so like I say I got a hell of a lot of mini games to show people yeah so just filling in a few of these holes did want to just cover it all up really even if it's just one layer just cover it up makes it easy to wedge which is a point I can't wait to wedge this thing oh yeah see we're gonna blend it in now get a nice blend going on If you look up towards the front of the ship, you'll see a giant freaking space bee. I know I need to name this the Petron Space Bee. I don't know if any of you have seen that. Yes. That's what this is. It's a giant one of those space bees. Yeah, Epic. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be getting on now, so uh, there'll be more on the V2. So, thanks again. I'll see you next time.